everyone, it's Julia. Earlier this fall, I had purchased a bunch of flannel shirts. I just got them at a discount store and bleached them and distressed them and, and sold them at some of my craft shows this summer. And I have some on my Etsy shop as well, these de distressed flannel shirts. But I bought a extra, I bought a couple extra of every color and made scarves, flannel scarves, which are also on my Etsy, Etsy shop. So I'll, I'll link that all down below for you if, if any of you want to go take a look. But I had things left over. I had a lot of pieces that I weren't, was not able to use. And I was just trying to get my head together and figure out some projects. And this for one is, is the, the front of the sh a shirt. It has the pockets and has the placket. And I thought this would make such a cute pillow back. Then I had, like I said, just a lot of pieces. And so I took my my square ruler and cut a bunch of just pieces out of the scraps that I had left over. And I have I have this project in the, in the works. So anyway, I wanted to share with you the, how I'm gonna make this pillow. But I also made, these. this like I said, these are projects in the work. They, there's this, they're going to be um, zippered pouches. But these owls just turned out so cute on some of these scraps of fabric that I thought I would put owls on this pillow. And two, I used this, just sewed some of the squares together and that'll be at the bottom of the pouches. I will show pictures of these at the end when they're done and also these will be on my Etsy, Etsy store as well. I just think they're, they're just comical and really a lot of fun. And so I wanted to share with you how I'm going to be putting this pillow together. I am going to be using, uh, uh, this is a primitive muslin um, by Moda. It has a lot of um, oh, variations in it. This is the pie crust. I'll link that down below for you too if any of you want, are interested in, in a primitive muslin. This is the color pie crust and it honestly looks like a pie crust. It has th those kind of um, color variations in it. Um, I again want to put a strip of the patchwork at the bottom of this and then I want to be putting some some owl appliques across the front. And so let's just get started and see what we come up with. I am starting by adding some heat and bond light to the back side of my flannel scraps. These will, these will get run through my, my Sizzix Big Shot. So just ironing this to the back side. I'm using the Owl number no. 2 and this is a Sizzix Bigs die. I believe this one is discontinued but they do have another Owl Bigs die out. And just laying these pieces on my die. I usually can get about four layers through at the same time. Just making a sandwich and running it through. And then taking my little pieces out. Notice those circles. That, that is just warm and natural batting. I like using my scraps of warm and natural for these owls, owl eyes. It just adds some, adds some dimension to them. I do, however, have to use my fabric tack glue. The heat and bond light just does not work on the back of this warm and natural. It just doesn't adhere here properly, so I do use the glue for that. But now it's just in the matter of peeling off that paper and just assembling my little owls. It's amazing how, how just changing the pupil orientation can really add personality and just a complete different look to these owls. And just ironing everything into place. And now my little appliques are ready. This is my muslin here. This is going to be the top of my pillow. And I do have that warm and natural batting on underneath this, this um, layer. I usually take two layers just to give it this, some stability to the top of my pillows. I sew that patchwork together. So I have a series of five different colors of my flannels. And I want to attach this to the bottom of my pillow. I'm just running a line here so I can I sew straight basically at my sewing machine and I will just take that patch and just sew that into place and then iron it. I'm just going to sew across and it's sewn now I'm just ironing that down into place 
And now I'm just peeling that heat and bond off of these owls and laying them in, into the order I want. Just get them, getting them centered and fig figured out here. And then ironing into place. Now I'm just going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to attach these using free motion. I don't show that here, but I just go, go over all my little pieces. This is the, how it looks. I just so, so much fun. So many threads in my sewing machine. I'm just taking the threads off of this flannel. Put my right sides together, and I'm just going to pin my, my, my front to the back. I'm going to link up on top and also down below how I finish my, how I finish my pillows. I do close my pillows just with my sewing machine. I use my zipper foot. And I also go over my favorite stuffing too. I'm just pinning this around and then I, I usually take a, about a half an inch seam allowance and leaving about a five inch opening. Doing my trimming and then getting my fingers in there and just turning this. I just love the back of this pillow. That shirt bag, the shirt which just really adds a lot. my pokey tool to get those corners all out and then I'm just gonna get this opening pressed under and then just take my fingers and roll those seams and press everything into place here's some pictures this is the front and here's what the back looks like. And also my, my some of my zippered pouches. I believe I got six of these complete. I love this flannel applique. This owl just it's just so quirky. And I also did a little bag. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now.